Now, I grew up a Seventh-day Adventist Christian. Seventh-day Adventists were taught Protestant. And in my Protestant upbringing, and we were taught that it's not good to push yourself forward too obviously. You should always appear reluctant to claim credit. It's better to kind of moan and groan about what a great sinner you are and how inadequate you are. By contrast, now as a convert to Judaism, to Orthodox Judaism, notice that Jews tend to feel pretty good about themselves. And how I'm struck by how eager they are to tell me and tell other people about the great things they've done. About how they helped the rabbi, how they signed a lease for the, for the synagogue, how they helped the rabbi raise money, how they did so much for Israel, for the homeless, or for the community, or their Torah learning or Torah observance. So, I had a Protestant friend once say to me, well, a Jew's more obsessed with status. I don't think so. I just think Jews are more honest about pursuing the good things of life. And status is one of them, honor, sex, money, love. These are good things. So Judaism, I think, is more at peace with the natural passions than Christianity. Judaism takes for granted that people want honor and respect and wealth and love. Therefore, it provides ways to channel these desires into good ends. So, I find Jews talk much more honestly about money and sex, for instance. They have fewer romantic notions about these basics of life. So, a romantic notion means seeing more to something than is really there. So, in my Protestant upbringing, it was considered unseemly to talk about desiring sex or money. In many circles, it was easier to talk about sex than money. Money was hush-hush. You are supposed to act as though it didn't matter. So, of course, if you didn't live up to your responsibilities and pay your bills, that really mattered. And you're supposed to give 10% of your income to your Seventh-day Adventist church. So, in my experience, Jews are more likely to just accept the sex and money of vital parts of life. They are the stuff of life and death. To be objectively poor is to be a little bit dead. To be without love and sex is to be a little bit dead. So, the Jews I know are at ease with talking about ways to make money, to find a date, to get married, to find a good doctor, a nice place to live, find a good bargain. So, Judaism is kind of unromantic religion because this world matters more than the next one. By contrast, when I step into a Seventh-day Adventist environment, I feel like I've left behind many of the cares and concerns of this world. I feel like I'm entering an otherworldly dimension that's much more spiritual and heavenly-minded than the prosaic concerns of Jewish life. 